Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, I am Cleopatra O, and I'm back here with another video. So on today's video, we're doing something different. It's going to be a how-to video. And I just thought I should come here and, you know, just show you guys how I do my monthly demo planning. And I know some of you will be asking, what is demo planning? I'll try to look for like a proper definition and post it maybe in my description box or just, you know, write it down here but demo planning for me is just basically getting rid of i'm sure you guys will be able to see that i am quite hairy on my side bumps and it continues like down and also on my upper lip right and just basically everywhere on my face like even between the spaces between my hairline and down to my brows it's like filled with hair so yeah so i'll just be getting rid of that but it's also a kind of exfoliating process because uh while shaving you basically also get rid of dead cells and you know all the dirt that may be on our skin that we actually can't really see so yeah this is not literally for everyone i mean there are people who actually like having um hair on their face i'd say but i'm not i'm not that kind of person and also another advantage to this is that it actually helps your skin to be able to absorb any other um products that you may put in uh because uh, you know the excessive hair and everything might actually block it and it also helps with applying of makeup it get you get this smooth skin like this this baby skin as i'll call it because after i usually have this kind of baby skin which i love so yeah but let me just show you guys what i'll be using and i mean you mustn't do this at home i actually started doing demo planning thanks to uh pa glamba stefania by then i was in sweden and then i kind of checked for anyone that also did demo planning then because i never knew that anyone actually did demo planning but then i found someone in stockholm who did demo planning but then obviously I moved and I didn't have anyone who could do, at least I searched online, but I couldn't find anyone. And I only found one person, which was quite expensive. Not even gonna lie, it was basically like almost triple the price of what I used to pay in Stockholm. So I was just like, you know what? Maybe we're just gonna have to try to do this ourselves. I mean, so yeah. So then I tried it a couple of times and I mean, I think I did well, to be honest, I did well. But just so you know, you shouldn't do this uh, too often. So four weeks, every three weeks should be enough. But yeah, I've been blabbing too much. Let's get right into the process. Um, obviously, like if you go to um, a professional and everything, they will have different tools. But for me, I've always, I've just been using, I don't know if you guys can see. Yes. So I've been using this, what do they even call it? I, I mean, here is written uh, eyebrow, eyebrows formers, for, yeah, formers. So that is what I've been using. I've seen some people use blade, but you guys know that your guy, your girl's eye is not as sharp as some people's eyes are. So I definitely not recommend you to use blade. I mean, if you're confident of yourself. Who am I to say you should not use blade? You can use blade. But if you can find this, I think you can find this in all these kind of drug or like makeup stores. So it's not, I mean, I remember buying this for like two years or three years from DM if you're in Germany. So you can basically just go for this. So you're on the safe side also because it comes like with a handle. Yeah. So it comes with this handle like this. So it will basically be much easier for you to use. Whilst if you have like a blade, you might tend to go like directly into your skin instead of basically going like 45 um, degrees out. So yeah, so it basically comes with this blade on this side. And then you just use that part and then it comes with this cover. To be honest, I just use, when I use it for demo planning, I just use it once and then I, I take it out, especially because of all the dead skins and everything that you'd have taken away and you wouldn't want to reuse that. No, no. <laughs> so, yeah. So what I usually do to start off is that I just use um, a toner to just cleanse my face. I usually have two toners that I, that I use normally on my skincare, right? So I use the, this Tea Tree uh, Body Shop um, Skin Clearing Mattifying Toner, which I feel is a bit harsh. 
in a good way so but normally like if i've been away and i've not been and i was not able to take my toner with me then i'll definitely like use this because it really gives me like a proper deep cleansing but since i mean i've been doing my skincare and everything so i just go for my Clearasil, which is not as harsh i would say just basically a normal toner i'd say so i'll just go in with this so so when that is done i would then want to go in with something that would basically make it more easier for me to just go in with the blade right so some people have been going in with oil so maybe if you want to go into oil you can use this vaseline um cocoa radiance body oil or if you have any face oil you can also use that but because i have an oily skin i always tend not to go in with you know additional oils to my face because um, i don't like the feeling <laughs> i just don't like the feeling so what i've been using actually i've always been using aloe vera gel thus far so i'll be starting off by just placing i'll be starting off with this part so i'll just be placing some aloe vera gel <laughs> Just take it and just be going. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Hey. So just from few basically <clears throat> strokes, can you guys see? Can you guys see? <laughs> and obviously I forgot to mention, if you have like major breakout, um, yeah you're currently having like major breakouts then obviously i would advise you to abstain from doing this because you definitely don't want to be going to you know be disturbing what is already disturbing you <laughs> i don't know i don't know what better way to put it i'm not a dermatologist so i don't know what better way to put it but i'm sure that you get the drill I'm done and one thing I forgot to say please 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 don't do this on a dry skin there's some people that do it on a dry skin but do you really want to do that I think it's going to cause like a lot of irritation so I wouldn't really recommend you to do that on a dry skin and you can just decide to go in with whatever would work for you maybe if you want you can just go back with um, your toner once more but for me I feel like right now like our uh, we just have like a new layer of skin and we don't want to go with anything harsh at the moment so instead i'm going in with a baby wipe just to wipe any any excess or like any remaining hair that might just be left from the derma planning i'll just go in and moisturize my face so i'm using this uh, neutrogena i'm sure you guys have seen it before this neutrogena anti black spots i uh, think yeah, and it's oil free so so one thing i was taught especially when i went to do my demo planning professionally was the fact that you are not supposed to be exposed to sunlight too much um at least for the first two three days of demo planning i'm just going to go in with this my very simple sunscreen i got this in the netherlands um and this is from athos and it's just the sun protection 50 spf so i'll just go in with that so you can also do the same so guys this is basically the final look and I hope that if you've been demo planning even before and you've been thinking, oh, I've been spending too much money or you would just want to be, you know, you just want to try and do it yourself at home. I hope that this was helpful to you. And yeah, 
I guess we're just gonna see ourselves in my next video. And please, if you like this video, don't forget to, you know, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to comment, guys. Just don't forget to do the, all of the good things. And yes, because it, it encourages me. So please, please, please. But yeah, guys, I'm just gonna see you on my next one. And I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.